how to make lace frontal hair. In order to craft lace frontal hair, we would need a ventilation hook, Swiss lace, a foam board, few pins, hair and tons of tolerance. We start taking measures on the foam, draw a rectangle with sizes 11.5 inches to 6 inches and then cut some Swiss lace with sizes about 13 inches to 7 inches. So the lace shall be slightly larger than the rectangle on the foam. Below on the cellophane, I'm showing you the direction of the hairs that be ventilated on the actual lace. So this way we will have more natural looking hair frontal crafted. The hair direction is very important. Now let's stick the lace on the foam with using some pins around the perimeter and remember we will be filling the rectangle area that is drawn on the foam now grab the hair and hope it's you know washed and clean no lice eggs in it so and let's remove the super tiny hairs from the bundle we have a video about several patterns that we usually use and you may please check them out. I'll put the link below in the description. And for this craft, we mainly be using pattern D and pattern C. And now let's mark crown array on the lace and we will be filling that array first. And then later we will further fill the edges and so on, slowly moving upwards. Further Let's relax and start the ventilation process. We will be needing about 100 grams of hair and we want our Swiss lace uh, frontal to be about 18 inches long when it's already crafted. So that means we need to use at least like 20 inches longer hair. As you know, ventilated hair on the lace becomes slightly shorter. Further, you would probably want to sit back and relax and enjoy the ventilation boring process. I'll pick some nice music for you to be entertained while you are watching this video. Thank you.
Once we fill the crown area and let's start filling the edges. When ventilating hair on the edges, it is important to ventilate the hair in two directions. As you see on the screen, she is pulling the hair towards herself. That's first direction. And also she is pulling the hair towards the ear location, which is the second direction. So you've got two ears, you will have two edges, and always pull the hairs towards yourself and towards your ear location. That way your lace frontal would look much more, you know, natural. Once we reached the center of the lace, there it starts a forehead array. While ventilating forehead array, we mostly use one strand per ventilated hole. 
in the crown area we did inject sometimes you know two or maybe even three strands of hair as well per ventilated hole but in here in the forehead area we prefer to use only and mostly one strand of hair per ventilated hole the direction on edges still important so the hairs are being pulled towards yourself and towards the ear location Once we filled the forehead area with the both edges, let's draw now sideburns beyond the ears. And we will be ventilating the hair on these areas with two directions as well, towards ourselves and towards the ears. So now let's create the front line hairlines. It's pretty easy and it's not super dense. We will be drawing hairlines as following and then we will be using our pattern C. And most importantly, we will only be using one strand per ventilated hole. And thank you so much.
And that's it. Thank you so much for your time and patience and tolerance. Hope you enjoyed it and hope you learned something today. And see you later in the next videos. Stay safe.